guys this is Amanda with Americana Gardens and I just completed this very cute fall themed animal garden so it's not fairy garden it's an animal garden but it's uh, still miniature so I really like that and it's starting to rain so I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of what I did
So most of this stuff that I have here is natural. Like I just picked up some mums. I got some uh, spent sunflower heads and put them down as like almost like a stepping stone would be, but um, you know more colorful and bright. And I got some sedums here. Uh, they're throughout the garden as well, but those sedums I got on clearance. They came with like like this right here, this pot. This was a clearance pot with sedums, and I just took the sedums out and put some mums in there. Five dollars I got that at Lowe's. Good deal. So here you see I have some more sedums. This is ground sedum. Um, this is a sedum that is turning the pink now. I got some like birch stepping stones, some moss. Uh, I also have a faux pumpkin there. And look at this lovely little critter. Look at that. I got that at Michael's. They have a bunch of cute ones around. Uh, it's like popping out of its acorn, so to speak. So very cute. Got some like dried flowers in there. Again, more sedum, lavender, and gumfrina. And this is a dried eucalyptus. But they did dry this. Um, they put dye in the water, and then they cut the they cut the stems of the eucalyptus, and then they put it in the dyed water, and it soaks up, and it turns this like mint green. Maybe, but not so bright and you know I see a lot of this color being used for fall now like I see uh, like fake pumpkins that are this color and stuff and I wasn't a fan of it at first but I it's growing on me it's something different I also just took some clippings of some evergreens placed them in some hydrangeas and also some really nice size rose hips right here finally found some. And I found a nice little home for the little birdhouse there. I love it there. It, it sets it off. I also have a bird back in the behind here. Some sedums and some rushing sage that these two have just been recently transplanted so they're a little stressed. But I needed something like what happened is I ended up filling up the very front here and then I realized like the back is just empty and I need to put more stuff back there to make it look full and I think this really did accomplish the job. So back down here. So we have another little critter. He's so cute. <laughs> it's like a, I guess like a hedgehog or a porcupine, I'm not sure. But I really like how they did the details on this. Come on. Yeah, I really like how they did the details. Again, this I got at Michael's. It looks like um, like wheat. It's just it looks very natural, even though it's fake, you know. But it's, it's very cute. Very happy with that find. Again. There's some more mums placed in. I got the yellow ones in this box here. This was another sedum box uh, that was on clearance for five bucks. So adorable. Uh, it's wood, so it kind of, you know, it goes with the theme here. It's very natural looking. I also got this log. Well, <laughs> this is my mother's log. Uh, it was a gift from her son, my brother, on Mother's Day, and I'm, I'm using it. But that is an adorable mixture there. Also, I just cut some of these spent echinaceas. I like the seed heads. They just add, they add a different texture to the garden. And I, I literally just cut it and put it in the ground. And they've been holding up. This is the third day they've been in the ground. I wonder if they're going to root. That would be very interesting if they did. Some more eucalyptus. Mums, sedums, hydrangeas, moss, and right here, these are um, cut flowers. These are the 
straw flowers. Now they closed up, but they're scattered throughout here. Also got some gumplina, some more sunflower heads. I like using those. I think it's a different texture and I've never seen anybody use them in a like fairy garden, quote unquote, before. I just kind of added some stuff right in here. Just kind of trickled out the, um, you know, like the sunflowers and the sedums. Just kind of trickled them out over here, but oh, I'm so happy with it. It is very adorable. And this is under the cis plum bush right here. That blooms a beautiful pink and white in the early spring. And then in the back, there's a hydrangea tree on standard right there that is going to get big. That is going to get big. So in essence, it's going to give us some nice privacy um, around here. But Very happy with how this turned out. And this is the path leading into uh, the Shea Garden. I did carry it a, um, a little bit of a theme over on this side. Again with the sunflowers and some sedums. Not too much though. And in the front here, now for those who are just tuning into my channel, this is a whole new area. I just did this area. Have some irises, we have a butterfly bush there. Oh, I got an echinacea, I need a plant. That was another clearance find. I think I got those for like 250, 75% off at Lowe's. Wow. Uh, so, and this is the hydrangea. It's looking a little rough. Again, we had a we had a tough uh, summer. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys can relate here, but it was a tough summer and it did not get any water. I don't use any type of irrigation other than hand watering if needed. So this, this kind of suffered. But my idea is like right here in this area, uh, you know, I got to weed and, and cut some of the spent flowers back, is to put a blue cypress and let that, let that fill in this space here. Oh, that'd be so gorgeous. And I could literally just bring this whole fairy garden if I had more items, which I might get later uh, this month. I could just literally just bring this around and bring this around the front and also put some more over here to kind of make it a little bit more cohesive. But I'm just so happy with how this turned out. This is very darling. So if you liked what you saw, please hit the like button, subscribe, and you can see more of the projects that I'll be doing. Uh, that helps the channel out and allows me to do more projects like this. And I enjoy it and I hope it inspires other people and bring peace and comfort and hopefully opens a new hobby to those who are interested in gardening. But thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you next time. Bye.